I'm trying to get you ready for, for you know, with distractions. Yeah, no, that, that was great. Yeah, yeah, see, what's happening is Jeff Peterson uh, put his old band back together, Bone Patrol, and they're going to be our band on stage at the Super Bowl. Bone Patrol! <laughs> I, I don't know. So, uh, so you put the band back together. Uh, I didn't even know you were in a band before, like, now. Yeah, no, we were together years ago, man. We, we, uh, we uh, disbanded for a while. Now we're back together, man. Why did you disband? Somebody have a drug problem? <laughs> yeah, you're looking at him. Is that what happened to you and how you became... I don't want to talk about it, man. Perhaps you could talk about it in the words of a song. All right. Little song about uh, my, my drug problem. You guys remember that one? <laughs> Called uh, uh, Coxix. What? Coxix. That's not a drug. Coxix. I like this sound yeah. though. Like, lay that beat down. That's it, boys. Here we go. Like me. Don't hit the pipe or you'll be stuck on TV. Oh, yeah. The Late Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Guys, like a Ren fair in here. <laughs> you're right over there, Jeff. Yeah, man. Bone yeah, Patrol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are really current with what the kids are up to. The hell, man. Oh, oh, what was that? Easy, oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> hell, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It is a great day. It is a great day for the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> no, no, it is. Don't no, trust me, Craig. Where are you going with this? I'll tell you. The price of a stamp goes up one cent today to 46 cents. And I am now an age where that caught my attention. <laughs> I'm like, huh? 46 cents? <laughs> to make sure everyone received the news promptly, the Postal Service announced it over the mail. I'm thinking... I mean... Email is what I meant to say. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about 46 cents. I can remember when stamps were 45 cents. This cent by cent thing is kind of annoying. Why not raise the price of it at 50 cents and be done with that? I hate this one penny every two years thing. It's how, it's how CBS gives me raises and it makes me feel small. Now, for most of us, of course, the one cent increase in the price of a stamp is not a big deal, unless you are a hardcore stamp collector, a philatelist. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is, right, Jeff? Yeah, that's right. That's right, a philatelist. Yeah. That sounds sexy, doesn't it? Philatelist. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Philateling. <laughs> Ooh, philateling, what's that? It's the nerdiest thing you can do with your tongue. <laughs> What are you doing? Philatelling. 
I'm not making fun of stamp collectors. I think they're badass. They live on the edge, staying up all night, touching sticky bits from around the world. But, <laughs> but the real joy of stamp collecting isn't the stamps themselves. It is how these stamps are a fascinating window into history. Say, for example, it's 1968. You're the Soviet Union. You want to show the world how you're spreading the glorious socialist revolution. So you make a stamp, a real stamp, that we haven't touched like this. Look at this stamp. Yep. <laughs> That's a real stamp. We didn't touch that. Well, I, I touched it. And then I touched the stamp. No, let me see that stamp again. Look, those two... The, you know what they're doing there? They're playing Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. man. <laughs> the most valuable stamp in America is called the Inverted Jenny. That's the... That sounds like a sex thing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. What are you doing there? I'm philatelling. What are you doing? An inverted Jenny. <laughs> the, the, anyway, the one, it's the one with the picture of it's a plane that's flying upside down. The next most valued stamp is the Hawaii missionary stamp. <laughs> I know, I looked them up today. I'm like, they all sound so sexy. The, the inverted Jenny, the Hawaii missionary, the naughty Sanchez. They're all of them. Yeah, the naughty Sanchez. It's a real stamp. <laughs> Sanchez is on the front and he's philatelling. <laughs> and you know, to attract people to stamp collecting, the Postal Service featured characters, you know, uh, like Mickey Mouse and Bart Simpson a few years ago. Uh, and they also did a secretariat, the other one. They did a secretariat, the resource, the other one. <laughs> yes, the other one. No, it was. It was a real collector's item. It had Secretariat's head on the front, and then he was also the glue on the back. Oh, oh light up. It's a joke. Light up, yeah. Bone Patrol. It was a joke. Shut up. It was a joke. Oh, no. Oh, no, come back. Come back. It was a joke. I'm s oh, there you are. All right. Do you know that in England, stamp collecting is hugely popular? People are like, have you got any stamps? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you uh, perform philately on those stamps? <laughs> yes, I do. Do you know who's a, a big stamp collector is Her Majesty the Queen? That's true, which must be quite boring for us. Like, oh, great, this one has me on it. There's me. There's Dad, there's Grandpa. I get annoyed when I hear the postal service is in trouble financially, though. It's not the fault of the hard-working postal workers that the US Postal Service sponsored Lance Armstrong and spent $10 million of their money buying steroids. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? <laughs> No, some people think that uh, email has ruined the art of letter writing, but I disagree. Email has made us write uh, more than ever, but email has totally ruined the art of licking. <laughs> it's true, most stamps today are self-adhesive. You don't even have to lick them anymore. So now I've got all this extra saliva that I have to get rid of by licking other things like hot pockets and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jeff Peterson, I sometimes have to... Uh, Jeff Peterson's Hot Pocket. That was the name of this band originally. What, Jeff Peterson's Jeff Hot Pocket? Jeff Peterson's Hot Pockets. And then you, <laughs> then you changed it to Bone Patrol? Yeah. Yeah, there was a bit of philatling that went on. Yeah. <laughs> Finagling? Yeah, philatling. 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 I don't have a tongue. <laughs> You don't have a tongue. I mean, can you say Lily? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I say. <laughs> I still send letters occasionally. You call me old-fashioned, but when you want to express human emotion, nothing beats the personal touch like a real physical letter. Take this letter I sent the other day. <laughs> I still don't understand how they caught me. You ever blackmailed anyone or uh, sent a ransom note or anything? Yeah, that's how I got on this show. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's how your band got on the show as well, isn't it? Band? Yeah, man. Bone all right. Patrol. All right, are you, ready? are you guys ready to do your first into a commercial break? Come on, yeah, get it man. all together. We're get get up, get out, ready. Get... Are you going to lead your band into the commercial Hell break? Hell yeah. 
What do, what do you do? Do you like punch the air or uh, throw the goat? Oh yeah, all right. That's, that's the signal. Yeah, that, that's the signal for the band to start. Good luck then, get us to the commercial break. Go on then. All right, ready? Here we go. Did you see me doing the air bagpipes there? Have you ever seen anyone do air bagpipes? <laughs> you know, there's bound to be teething problems when you're working in a new band. I mean, Jeff, you are no Richie uh, Sabora. How dare you? What do you mean? I'm just making an existential statement. You are not Richie Sambora. I make no judgment in that, but you're not. You're clearly not Richie Sambora. You, 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 you look different and you're wearing a different hat. Same hat, actually. I think the people rather enjoyed my hit song, Coxix. Yeah. So I think... <laughs> uh, I think you're, you're deluding yourself there, my friend. I, I think what you're doing there is performing an act of self-philately. Yep, and the horse agrees. All right, did you, did you guys put together uh, an email jingle? Did you yes, that? yes, we have a jingle right. just for you. Ben. All right, so I'll ask you, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? And then you, you've got it from there. You got, I, I got can, it. I can hand it over. I got it. All right, you sure? I got it. Ben. All right. <sighs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Time to reach in the mail sack and scratch those tweets. I can't help but thinking back in my mind to want it, dead or alive. <laughs> want it more than ever. <laughs> Richie, seriously, where the hell are you, man? <laughs> All right, um, this is from Karen in Shreveport, Louisiana. You ever, you ever been there? Ever beautiful, been there? beautiful What place. a place. We're going to Louisiana. We're going to Louisiana at the end of the week. We're going to New Orleans, Le or New Orleans. New Orleans, Le 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 we're, we're going there. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, Karen says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my friends and I are planning to find you when uh, you're in New Orleans. Are you bringing beads? <laughs> I am now. <laughs> is that where you got your beads? Where are your beads anyway? You took your... This is insane to me. Jeffrey Peterson, well, you've been working on this show for how long? Five years? Ten? Yeah, Fifteen? Twenty, like 20 years? years for, yeah. About four, forty years. Forty years. And all time you've been working this show, you've worn beads. All the time. Every night, beads. Mardi Gras beads, 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 beads. Then when we finally get a chance to take the show to New Orleans, you take the caramba. beads off? <laughs> How does that work? Look, man, I don't dress myself, all right? This wasn't my choice. <laughs> Did you dress Hannah at the end there? Did you dress Hannah? Boy, I wish. <laughs> You look, you look good, Hannah. Yeah, no, really, it's very kind of Alice in Wonderland, Helena Bonham Carter kind of. <laughs> if only your head was 15 times bigger. <laughs> no, in the movie, your head was bigger. It was a thing. I'm not saying I like Helena Bonham Carter. She's got a perfectly normal-sized head, but in... Not that that's my criteria for liking someone. It's not, well, I don't know if we can be friends. May I measure your head? That's not my thing. What I'm saying is that it was, it was in the... Oh, shut up! <laughs> it's a great day for the Postal Service. <laughs> Man, you know, you guys should have learned a funeral march for the monologue tonight. That's what you should have learned. No, we're working on that. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe you get Sambora to do it. <laughs> Take the bitterness out of your voice, Mr. No-Tongue Hat Boy. Yeah, you know what? Maybe when I'm done today, I'll go call Craig Kilborn. No! Oh! I'll go do whatever you shouldn't say that. Yeah. You shouldn't say that on the air, because now he's going to be waiting by the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
That's not fair. I, I, I take that back. <laughs> like, I, listen, you can say what you like about anybody you want, but they've all got good-sized heads. <laughs> I think the audience has turned to openly mocking me now. <laughs> you guys got that, you got that funeral dirge ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, this is from Marcus in uh, Materi... Materi in, uh, also in Louisiana. This is weird. Uh... <laughs> Dear Craig and GP, if you're coming to New Orleans, may I suggest you practice saying who dat? Oh, I already know that. That's the that's the like the, the football, the the saint, the who dat, the saint. I know this. Also, wait, Jeff, when we walk into the club in New Orleans, what are the girls gonna say? Here come the No! What? <laughs> who, who no, they're not. At first we will walk into the club and they will go, who dat? And then I see. they will put on their glasses and go, ah, here come the players! This is from Allison in Point Pleasant in New Jersey. Have you ever been to a Pleasant Point in New Jersey? Yes, I have. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hi, Craig. Hi, Jeff. Sup, Secretariat. Sup. Um, this is from Janice and Michael, parents of an 11-year-old viewer, and they're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I know, see, I, I talked about this before. The, I, the, I don't want 11-year-olds watching this show. I, I, I cuss. The, the horse it may look like a children's show, but it's not a children's show. It may have the budget of a children's show, but it is not a children's show. It may have the gay robot skeleton of a children's show, but it is not a children's show. It may have the drug-addled street musicians of Los Angeles band of a children's show. Anyway, uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. I hate to break the news to you, but a lot of 11-year-olds watch your show. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like the To Catch a Predator guy is going to come out there. Uh, this is from Geneva and Ithaca, New York. Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm not really from Ithaca. Well, then, get lost. Uh, and finally, this is from Marjorie in St. Louis, who says, Dear Craig and Jeffrey, what do you actually think about during quiet time? <laughs> Do you guys know quiet time? Did you learn quiet? Yeah, no, we get, that's it, man. Oh, that sounds, that's a nice quiet time. Oh, lay it on me a little bit. I'm starting to think about philately. Tonight is a very awesome woman. Her talk show, Kathy, airs Thursday nights on Bravo. Please welcome the adorable, the lovely Kathy Griffin, everybody. Kathy, you look sensational. I'm gonna split right out of this dress for you. It's a it's a snug fit you got going on there. It's that's a, right. Whoa. Anything could happen. This thing could rip right off. <laughs> or you could do it. Wow. That was a landslide. Yeah, landslide. No, come on, you can't be doing that. It's look, CBS. I, I can I, be. Not only is it CBS. Um, I hope you know this. I stole your studio. What, the old studio? You like a thief in the night. <laughs> what have I been 
coming on this show? Seven years? Oh, nine, I think. Acting all nice and sweet the whole time, plotting. You know, that's not true. You have not acted nice and sweet no, the whole time. No, sometimes I've actually made you spank me. I know I've done that. Okay. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you don't think... That, no, that was awesome. <laughs> I didn't feel that one was as good as the last one. We'll try one more. All right, then. i get some traction in. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> it's almost Ooh. as if I never learned my lesson. <laughs> um, so, yes, the Kathy show stole your old studio. Oh, well, okay. When did your show start? It's a terrible studio. It's Why on. Are you... My show is currently on. I know. I... I... <laughs> I've been watching it. I've been watching it, and it's fantastic. Well, I was just saying that as a joke. Okay. All right. It's on Thursdays at 10, 10. on Bravo, but Bravo. you're going to love this. Not only are they terrified that the show is live. It's, they let you do a live show? Well, you weren't supposed to be terrified, too. I thought you were going to say, oh, Kathy, they're Kathy, ridiculous. Kathy, Kathy you, you, you were doing stamp collecting on Anderson Cooper in New Year. I got down there. I tried no, to collect no, that no, stamp. No, 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 no. Stamp book. I wanted to really hold that stamp as long as I could. I love hobbies. They let you do a. They let you do a live show on. on okay, this is my nightmare. I what? thought you were going to walk me over to Bravo and say none of you need to worry. She's a professional. Now you're terrified. You're. No, I'm not. I'm not terrified for Bravo. I'm not. They're lucky right. to have you. They're lucky to have you. But what I'm saying is, live, I'm honey. terrified for you. Okay, good. Because. Because you know. I I'm not afraid to say anything. I know, but, I, but sometimes you must say things and then think, perhaps it would have been better not to say that. Constantly. Con watch, I'll do one now. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, that would be just an example, just for your edification. But I want you to know that I did steal your studio, and I cannot believe that you lived in those crappy dressing rooms. Oh. I actually lived in them, and during my... <coughs> During my divorce, that was my only sanctuary. <laughs> All right, so I think you should know I have completely redone them. You've got to walk down the hall and take a look. I can't. And so um, this is how I live in your old studio. Wow, look at that. Look, look. Yeah. Jeez, you... I don't know if you always wore a mink stole. Um... <laughs> is that? You look like a spy. A... Maybe I am. That's right. I know everything about you. Look out. My that, that was a little looking. bit. I, I must say, I really like that. That was a, like a 1930s movie. Do it again. That's okay. right. I know everything That's about right. You. I know everything about you. Uh, I'm reading the newsies. Nothing get past me. These gams, if these gams can talk, you'd be six feet under. Trust me. I find, I find that quite erotic when we you do that. We could do a whole film noir. Like a sex tape of film noir. I like this. No one's done that. No one's done like a well, black and white grainy sex tape. They're oh, they, oh green. they have. They're always green. They have. Who? I'll, I'll give you a website. <laughs> I like how you refer to your porn as a website. It's not my porn. It's just porn that it's I've seen. Porn. I, my porn isn't on a website. It's everyone's porn. All right, now, now I need some talk show host tips. When you started, okay. did they restrict you in any way? Did they say lose the accent? I mean, what? They did. They said lose the accent. No, did yeah, they really? Yeah, yeah, they did. And they also said uh, dye your hair. <laughs> To what? Well, from this to uh, a color that young people aren't afraid of. <laughs> and please tell me you did. I did, actually. If you look at old tapes of the first, uh, like, first six months, I dyed my hair. Until they realized that I look more creepy with dyed hair. Did you have, like, old school Ryan Seacrest blonde tips? No, no, no. It was I don't mean to make fun of her, by the way. Um, <laughs> I think it's great that... Right now, don't you see? Now, I, yeah. I, gotta, I have a problem. I have a problem with yeah. you going after Ryan Seacrest because I... Since, Why? Because um, he's uh, crapping met... money out of his butt every five <laughs> seconds. He's so rich. No, no. That, he does do that, though, because I've met him. Uh, I met he, him is, he is actually really nice. I, he's lovely. That's he... my, my dirty confession is he's actually very He's nice. actually very nice. I know. I know. You shouldn't meet people you make fun of. I, pr I promise to never see him again. All right. I make him I think he'll be crushed. I think if I do see him again, he's going to be in this mink stole. I'm telling you, I just... I just have a feeling. You don't that, like the mink stole it, my chalice? It's not real. It's not real far, though, is it? No, Peter. No, it is. <laughs> it's from like the costume department. Yeah, it's your a, show. It, what? Well, my show doesn't have. It's all. Oh yourself. yeah, that's right. We have because a costume did... department. <laughs> well, the, Jeff the... didn't dress himself. That's for sure. Now what, is what, Jeff gonna have to uh, dye his hair? 
He doesn't have hair, he's got uh, wires and stuff. <laughs> In fact, he doesn't even wear his head underneath that hat. It's just wires. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like Ryan Seacrest. I love... You can't resist. Yeah, I can't resist. You, you, can't you made resist. me do it. I actually he's like not... Ryan Seacrest. But I met him. He's nice. he's got a billion, but... gajillion dollars. You have to make fun of him. Yeah, it's true. All right. So uh, other tips they said were, um, like, for example, if you have, like, a hip-hop guest, do you yeah. get very, like, street? No, no. I just remain myself. All right. So I had hip hop superstar T.I. on my show. Right. And my 92 year old alcoholic mother was there. Is she drinking or sober? No, she's drinking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, she loves a box of wine, and so she kept telling T.I. Don't act so high and mighty. Yeah, Sometimes... yeah. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh look, who do you think you are? Don't nabby? Oh, you ain't don't nabby. You're not better than oh, us. Glass. You're not better than us. Ooh, a box of wine. Strudel. Guys. Screw you. I, I, I almost did the gesture, but I'm yeah, not No, I, now, I, so luckily I, I did the British one out of a... Uh... Well, you can say... Crikey. That? Yeah. No, I don't think you can, can you? Can't? You can't? No, no, you can't. I'm Irish, we say... Crikey. Oh, no, you can't oh, say it in Irish. You can't fine. even say it in a language that they don't know. They'll look it up and censor you. I, I am on such a short leash. Well, first of all, I have to tell you that at the end of the T.I. show, live, my mom said, it's so nice to meet Billy D. Williams. <laughs> You take this one. You're the pro. How should I have handled that? She's 92. She's hammered. He's like a thug rapper who's been to prison, and she's just called him Billy D. Williams by mistake. Whose side do you even take? That, well, that's when you bring out the puppets. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back All with right. Kelly Grimm. Kelly Grimm. True. I just like that openly gay Jane Lynch is talking about which Academy Award nominee she wants to bang more that's a man. So she was tied between Joaquin Phoenix and Danny Day-Lewis, who now you're saying is a noisy lover? I think he would be, yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I, I got nothing... This is the type of guy where you're just like, you don't know where he has an area of expertise. He's one of those... How oh, do you I know think this? you can guess, can't you? <laughs> Do you have some dark tales about you and Danny Day-Lewis? No, no, au contraire. I would love That's that. That's French for no. I, oh, yeah. you know, why, why aren't you ever in the tabloids? I'm so disappointed by that. I feel like you should be in the tabloids like George Michael, like with Daniel Day-Lewis in a bathroom somewhere in Beverly Hills. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, they, 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 A, they don't know who I am, and B, <laughs> all my tabloid stuff is done, and any of it that, that nobody knew about, I put it in my book and sold it anyway. Oh, good for you. When are we going to trade for the night where you're on Bravo for one night? Because I've heard you moan about your, like, oh, not many people watch this show, which is BS. <laughs> on Bravo, I have tens of viewers. So I would like you to come into my world for one night. All right. I, I, I don't know if I am allowed to give you this show, but I'll come on your show. I would love if you yeah, come yeah, I'll go, I'll Well, because on my show, it's, um, it's kind of like, it's actually very European. All the guests are out there at the same time. Oh, so, that's like a cafe. Yes. <laughs> We can put you on with like, you like Larry King, right? I like love two Larry. talk show yeah, yeah. giants. That'd and be also, I like being next to him because I look like the kid. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> well, his kids are like two, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just <laughs> All right, uh, we're out of time. Uh, how do you throw in a commercial break on Bravo? Oh, wh what's great is um, they make me rehearse for seven hours what? before the show. I know. You got to talk to them. I'm serious. Yeah, really. So I am supposed to look at it. There's nothing in the teleprompter. No. See, they want to control me and... You so you, like, you, you have a teleprompter. Okay. They have one, but there's nothing written on it. All right. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. That was like there was something... of terrific actor. He stars on NCIS, which airs Tuesdays on CBS. <laughs> Please welcome Michael Weatherly, everybody. Michael Weatherly.
Michael, how lovely to see you. Please take a seat. Welcome to the show. You came out with a lot of energy. It's going Hi, to be everybody. Done <laughs> you, you, that was great. You went out. You really did. But you're, it's too much. <laughs> Wait, one more time? We'll just try it again? No, oh, yeah. no, bless you, no. Oh, Sit okay. down, relax. <laughs> Feel the indentation of the Kathy Griffin buttock. <laughs> no, you, you could probably still... No! <laughs> nothing. I got nothing. You guys flip the cushions, right? Ah, uh, you know, some guests you gotta. I, uh... <laughs> I hope not to be one of those. Oh, that's be. not true. I don't even know why I said it. Hey, I didn't know you. we had purple cups. Do you, are you got a thing for purple? Are you ecclesiastical in some way? <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is my wife's favorite color. Is it really? Yeah, so you have this, uh, this incredible thing. They give you a list of the colors of what kind of cup you want. Do they really? Wait, wait, wait. All the stuff that I want for this show and you're spending the money on different colored cups? Are you seriously? I didn't, you know, oh, no, 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 that was a different show. No, no, it's not a different show. It's this show, isn't it? This show. Is See, it? on NCIS, do you have different colored cups on that show? I don't wear a cup there. <laughs> is that wise? Yes, well. There's a lot of action in that show. Now, <coughs> oh, I, 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 I'm afraid we don't have time. Good night, everybody. <laughs> You've been served. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Props, back to one. Oh, right. Uh, oh, this is from Polly. This is a little uh, letter of recommendation from Polly Perrette. Polly Perrette, yeah. And uh, she says, hey, Craig, I love you. You're, uh, you'll love Michael. You are both insane. It's perfect. Love, Polly. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and that's, uh, she's not a mental health professional, but she knows crazy. <laughs> she yes, she does. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Oh, hello. I was going to tell you, though, I, I could have read that myself. I'm, I'm a reader. Oh. Yeah. I'm a reader. <laughs> I saw that. This is, a, this is a, a, an episode of NCIS. It's a front page of a script. This it could is. be worth something. It, and it, and uh, it's from today's table read. She was so excited about you. I don't know what you, spell you cast. Philately. <laughs> Drives the ladies crazy. Yeah. Yeah, stop collecting. People love it. I understand that. I, uh, Do you have a hobby which other people find odd and quirky? Well, yeah, but... They tell me what it is. <laughs> um, I read a lot. Oh, yeah, I know. You read my note. Which actually... Which actually is a federal offense. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> this is all mail-related. Uh, U.S. Postal Service. Right, right. Not I, mail. I female. went like, oh, what, Bravo? Ah, yeah, no. of course. But then I... I, I, uh, I uh, but I, uh, I read your book last night. What one? The, uh, the uh, Me American. Oh, the one I wrote. I yes. thought you meant just like a book from my house. You just like... No, I went and I... Well, I didn't read it. That's, that's actually... That's wrong. That's all he would... I bought the audio tape. Oh, right, okay. So I'm, I, I got it on my iPad, and I'm, th I'm so excited to meet Craig. So I'm like, uh, I got it. Excuse me. Could you say tablet? Tablet. <laughs> Spend the money on cups. <laughs> or the band. Or the band, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Well done, guys. Yeah, yeah, well done. Well done. So, so I have your book, uh, and, and I'm, and I'm li listening to it. You're fantastic uh, at reading. Reading? Your, your oh, own, I can read like anything. You're reading your own, yeah. your own book. But I fell asleep to it. Uh oh And when I woke up this morning, you were at the part where you got the show. <laughs> and it, it's seven hours long, your book. And I, so that means I listened to you all night long, talk to me as I, as I, as I slept. <laughs> And this is the weirdest thing. No, this is pretty weird already. I, uh, <laughs> this is, I woke up this morning and, and this, was, oh, on, your this was on my phone. Oh, right, yeah. That's, that's how it opens up now. Yeah, yeah, See? like that. And now I, yeah. uh, and I don't know how that, because I didn't do that. So at some point during the night, you want to do something? I, I didn't do that either. No. I was, no, I did. I did do that. I was instructed. I think it's buried inside the... Yeah, now what will happen is that uh, whenever I choose, I will use uh, the power of suggestion and you will be in my power. For example, I don't your cup is purple. <laughs> do you like my purple cup? Uh, <laughs> and also your drinking receptacle. <laughs> Please don't put that in there. Please. All right. Well, I'm not getting it. You know, 
Now I, now I feel like Tim Allen. <laughs> You may want to send that in after it. No, no. Was that Hitler's? <laughs> That's a one ball. Okay. Did you do a Hitler joke on Sorry. TV? <laughs> well, the, you were the Bing thing. I heard <laughs> that part. <laughs> different thing. Also, book, TV, very different. CBS, Tiffany Network. But hey, you're in their flagship show. <laughs> it's hard to cross your legs. <laughs> It's very difficult to cross your legs when you have a coffee cup down your pants. <laughs> I, of course, if you'd have listened to the book, you would know that. <laughs> I think I have been hypnotized by the book. There's some kind of... Unless... Something's happened, for sure. I think I'm still dreaming. No, I... <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I shall keep this note. Uh, tell Polly hi. Uh, I was going to give you a, a coconut, but I, I fear to. <laughs> There's room. Those go, those go, those go in the back. We'll be right back, What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? That was actually pretty good, I think. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, I missed the cat. Where's the cat? Did you have a cat? No, no cat. Oh. Man, I hate when there's no cat. <laughs> Craig, do you mean? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Because, well, never mind. Uh, look, there were two firsts tonight. First, it was the first night of your band, Bone Patrol, who I think did very well. Well Great done, job. Bone Patrol. Great job, guys. Yeah. And secondly, I think is the first time we ever had a guest uh, stick a cup down their pants. That is true. Historical moment, Craig. Yeah, no. I think uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu thought about it for a minute when he was here and then decided against it because what's the thing he has? Uh, dignity. dignity. Dignity, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. And then um, anyone else? Kathy, Kathy, you know when I smacked her ass yeah. like the third time? Yeah. I think it actually connected. <laughs> like I felt my hand sting a little bit and I felt kind of like the guy in Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> you meet Umi, but I wouldn't know why because I haven't read it. But I know there's spanking in it. Oh, there's quite a bit of spanking. Have you, have you read it? Oh, yes, I have. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> I mean, someone read it to me. You mean it was a book on tape? Yes. Was I the guy reading it? You were. I suddenly have the urge to put a large cup in my pants. And we come full circle. <laughs> All right, say goodnight. Say goodnight, Bone Patrol. Say goodnight, Jeff Pierce. Good say goodnight, everybody. everybody.